Hello everybody, this is Rotec here as usual. Um, uh, today, I'd like to start a new project in this world. Um, it's going to be something that no one has ever built before really, or as far as I can tell. Uh, because it will not work until uh, 1.2 comes out, as you see we're on 1.1 at the moment. Uh, but yeah, this new uh, concept that I've, I've come up with will not work with this patch because of the height limitations. But we're going to start building it anyway. And then when 1.2 comes out, uh, Jeb said in a couple of weeks, maybe, uh, then we'll be able to extend it and utilise the new world height. Um, but before we start the new project, I would like to polish this area up a little bit. Because I've decided that this base, when the new patch comes out, will be the the experience grinder, the mob farm slash enchantment place. Um, so that'll be that. We'll move the nether portal over here somewhere. Uh, you know, so it's easier to get at. Um, but yeah, this bit, like I said, this basically is going to be just a XP area. This won't be my main base by no means. Uh, it's just to be a place where where you come to level up, get some cool enchantments, uh, all that cool stuff, and then we'll build our new base uh, somewhere somewhere else and we'll link them up with another portal uh, which should be pretty cool so yeah I'm just clearing this area up a little bit um, so we can like move on uh, well yeah you can move on get away from this area and uh, get into the new area and I'm going to replace these torches in here with redstone lamps as well when those eventually come out in the new, new patch. But yeah, I'm not sure what to do with this place actually. I mean, I'm pretty, I like the design in here. That's relatively good. Um, I want to move the enchantment place, uh, like here maybe, indented into the floor. Uh, but then the problem with that is if you put torches down, you won't be able to uh, like get them back when you break them. So I'm gonna build some out of pistons probably. Uh, that'll replace the need of putting torches down. So we'll start building that um, this episode I would say and then maybe we might even get onto the new projects. I don't know why I'm pointing over there, it's not going to be built over there. Uh, it's just a, a tunnel of potential. That is called. Um, so this, we need a five by five area and it's pretty good because we've already got a big room underneath that we can use for all the redstone of this thing and because it's five by five is an odd number uh, so we can like make it in line with this see the problem with the nether portal is I would like to have it like at the end of the corridor but because it's not uh, nether portals are four blocks wide uh, we won't be able to do it. Well, we will be able to do it but it'll, it'll be off center and we don't like off center stuff here at the Muffin Cascade. We just don't do it. <laughs> There's an Enderman about. Where are you at? He. I don't know. No idea. He's pretty close, it sounds like. Okay, we'll ignore him. Uh, I would quite like to make the rim of this out of uh, grass. Uh, just so it's a little bit of green, because we've used pretty much stone for everything so far. Uh, and then we'll like decorate the outside with maybe wood and some leaves. Where is this guy at? It's going to be taunting us. It's probably up there somewhere. It's going to be taunting us the entire duration of this episode. <laughs> Okay, so I'll probably do like a time lapse thing here. Uh, I'll bring you back in when we make some major progress. Okay. 
need some more wood, that's for sure. I should also point out that I have torn down all of the stuff that I've built in the nether. Uh, because... Where is this guy? He must be up there, because he is very, very close, it sounds like. Oh dear. Um, so yeah, I've torn down all the stuff in the nether because... Um, in the in the current in the game's current state, if you uh, build, uh, well, the, the current Nether is it's not broken, but if you generate, let's see, how can I explain this? Um, with the new map format, it adds 128 blocks of air onto the top of a map. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward stuff. But, the nether, if you had 128 blocks of air, that means you're adding 128 blocks of air on top of the obsidian, not obsidian, the bedrock ceiling. Uh, meaning, um, all, there's going to be a huge amount of space on top of the nether, which will allow mobs to spawn, and it'll just be bad in general. So, what I've decided to do for this map, for the multiplayer, um, we are... Oh my, that was a close one. <laughs> um, I've decided to only generate a new map for the nether, and we'll keep like the overworld map as it is. Uh, and that's, like I said earlier, is to do with that issue. And I mean, because we don't really have anything built in the nether yet, uh, it's not really worth keeping it, to be quite frank. Uh, right, we need two more bookcases, and then this area is done. I also want to add some glowstone underneath there, so it lights it up a little bit. Because it's looking a little bit dark at the moment. Because the enchanting tables aren't uh, in, in the code. They are not a solid block. I've also uh, been in the nether, and I've like collected a load of... Uh, stuff. Uh, so there's all that. Glowstone is what I was really after uh, for obviously lighting and the potions that we will make later on. I think it's nine books. Oh, I don't know. Uh, when you make paper, it's like that. That's how we make. I can remember, I've played this game since it was called Cave Game, yeah? Which not many people can say they've done, and I still cannot remember the crafting recipes. So there we go. Right. Um, so these two will go here. I can hear him teleporting everywhere. Glowstone under there with the front table on top. Hooray, there we go. That looks pretty good if I don't fall in. Um, and then we'll have pistons. Oh crap, I can't do that, can we, with the bedrock at the bottom? Bedrock, it's not bedrock, it's obsidian. Um, because, oh no, we can have pistons on the side that push in. Uh, that'll work. Yep. Yeah. There's, originally, I was going to have pistons controlling the floor part here, uh, which they would retract or rather extend and get in the way of these bookcases uh, so they don't affect it. But yeah, um, instead we can just push the, bus, the, bu the book cases in uh, and it'll create the same effect. Or we could even retract them out, I suppose. Or even pull the bookcases down. Uh, I don't know what we should do with that. But yeah, I will grab some sticky pistons. One, that's not enough though. Uh, how many should I get? I'll get eight. Um, no. Nine, twelve. Twelve. Get twelve. Then we can control each one individually. I mean, it should be pretty simple to do, actually. Um. Pistons. Uh, iron. Redstone, if we only need 12, then redstone will be our limiter. 
and we got 11 because we've already got one. Uh, need to be sticky, so we have slime balls, uh, wood, we're running really low on wood, and cobblestone, that should be enough actually, no we don't have enough cobblestone. Okay. There we go. Reds, redstone and wood, of course. Like so. And then stickyify them. Excellent stuff. Right now we need red, more redstone and four levers. Uh, have I got any? Uh, oh, I've got levers in here. There we go. Good stuff. Um, so if we're going to make them retract downwards, uh, that would be pretty straightforward to do, actually, in this setup. And it would be pretty even more easier because we've already got it all dug out. So we do this. One, two, three. Let's turn along there. Going up. Um, stone brick would look good. But we need four stone brick stairs as well so we don't cut this off. Um, then we'll have the torch up there, not the torch, the lever up there. So let me go grab some uh, stairs here. I need to make a crafting table over there. And those guys are really loud. <laughs> uh, we need four of these. There we go. Uh, like that. And hopefully, if I've done this correctly, it should all work. So that's now extended and retracted. Excellent. And then we'll have stone brick back there so you can't see it. Um, now, the reason I'm using stairs here is that stairs are not a solid block in Minecraft code. Uh, this should be activated. So we can put it on there and it will not cut off. And uh, we can put one there and one there. And from the other side it will look completely uh, normal. There we go. So let's see how that looks from the top. I need to eat some steak. That looks pretty damn good. Uh, okay. So I will do that for all four sides, uh, and I'll bring you back in when I've done that. Okay, there we go, it is all built. I uh, just need to add the levers on top, and also decide what material to put underneath those. I might put uh, another brick. Uh, that, look, that should look pretty cool. Or even soul sand. Um, we'll get them both, see what it looks like. Don't need 64, that's for sure. Like that. I also collected a lot of sand. Uh, which will be useful for this new project. Which I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. Well, I've already given you a hint. Sort of. Woo! I like that. So, uh, if we extend all of the. No, we'll retract them all. Um, we'll see what it looks like. That's not in the right place. There we go, that looks pretty good. Um, now we need to decide what to put underneath them. Obviously these levers aren't in the right configuration, I'm going to uh, move them around a little bit so they're all facing the, like, f 
and it will make them face inwards when they're on or when the bookcases are up uh, or we'll even make another control panel somewhere else uh, with like four buttons or whatever on it uh, just to, so we can like easily uh, control this without it being too messy um, so this is uh, going to be the top bit uh, still haven't decided what I'm going to do with this grass yet or even under here, let's try I think nether brick looks a bit too dark really I think soul sand would look a little bit better to be honest yeah we'll use soul sand, that looks pretty good so that is up at the moment, so I want it to be facing away I still have no idea how you actually make them do that. There we go. It's a bit weird in multiplayer. Like that. Uh, I need to do the same for this. Can we get this to work? No? No? No. Nope. I've got no idea how you... Uh, it is possible. See that? It only seems to be going that way or this way. Which I'm guessing is the north or the southeast rule, southwest rule, whatever that is called. Might just have to put an inverter on it. Uh, yeah, anyway. So once we're facing away. Ah, just screw it. <laughs> Do it later. See this one and this one work. Which I'm guessing it is south and east or whatever. It is southwest. Yeah, I think it's southwest rule. Um so of course, southwest rule is now incorrect because the sun rises in the east now, which is somewhere that isn't south. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're going to do. It's going to be something very similar to this. Uh, I will probably tweak this off camera a little bit, uh, maybe move these leaves about. Uh, just so it looks a little bit more tidy. They're not actually very low. Might have to retract the uh, corner ones as well there. Uh, but that, again, I'll do that off camera. Um, so there's the enchanting place set up ish. Uh, I really want to start this new project, but then the episode's getting kind of long. And I also want to polish uh, like the existing areas up a little bit. Uh, so we, you know, we don't want to leave it looking a bit crappy. We want to make it look cool. I'm going to leave that place as it is. I just want to polish this area up. Because all this is going to be like uh, sealed off from over there. And we'll have like a door, piston door, uh, to get into it. And I'd quite like to make this room a circle. Uh, so if we make it a circle and we base it off this. Then the wall will be one block away. In fact, no. We could actually make the wall here and then move the leaves onto the wall then we could have them uh, yeah we'll do that but I'll do it off camera I'll move the leaves off camera um, but in s yeah we'll do that okay 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 I would like a free wide uh, doorway here that goes over there so we'll do the same for each side considering this is free wide as well Uh, I'm going to run out of stone brick pretty soon. Uh, I've, I've got some cooked up though, so that's alright. Uh, we'll have to mess around. Uh, try and get some more. 
See, that looks a bit small, really. I don't know. I'll make it a little bit bigger, eh? So it starts there. Uh, that looks a bit more presentable, really. Oop. Knock out all those torches while I'm at it as well. I'll probably make this area, all the walls, like wood uh, and leaves, because green is one of my favourite colours. Uh, it's uh, so neutral, if you like. Um, I'll also simulate this back wall here with this. Uh, so then we have one there, and there. There we go, that's like a circle now. Um, so we'll continue this pattern around. Like this. Uh, and now I've run out of brick. Yeah, I've got two stacks of 64 brick. Uh, ready to all cooked up. Uh, they've been going well. We've been uh, recording here. I'll leave those in there. I've probably got some more in a chest somewhere as well, but screw those guys. Don't care. Um, this, th yeah, this size is a lot more. It's a lot better, in my opinion. Um, ugh, I don't want to waste stuff. Well, this needs to be there anyway here. Uh, so we may as well do that. So then the grass will grow and spread. I'm not sure how I'm going to transition between uh, the grass and the stone brick here. I might just like put a layer of wood uh, maybe here. Um. Uh, I don't know. That looks alright I guess. And then we'll have the grass going into here. I've got enough dirt, I imagine. Like that, that should do. Good. We'll also do this side while we're at it. We may as well. Uh, no, that isn't the right material there, Luke. Come on, use your brain. One, two. Okay. We also need to figure out some lighting arrangements in this room as well. I'll probably use the... Uh, uh, what they're called... Uh, redstone talk, redstone lamps in the latest uh, patch when that finally comes out. Maybe we'll have some indented in the floor here. What would be cool as well is we could have like indicator lights. Uh, so when one side is down, uh, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, and of course, I'll move it onto the wall to do that as well. Uh, but yeah, I will build this wall up later on. I mean, I'm going to put some. Uh, leaves and wooden logs probably um, some few of which I do not have any so I'll need to go and grab some of those uh, in order to do it uh, there we go, that's not symmetrical so there we go, that is that uh, it looks pretty good in my opinion but obviously I'm open to all feedback uh, god it's cold in my room at the moment <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I'm going to, I'm going to call it here on this episode, I think. Uh, we didn't actually get to build the, I've pointed over there again, it's the tunnel of opportunities, this, you know. Whenever you say good things, you must, you just punch it. Um, 
So yeah, we'll we'll start building that next episode. Um, hopefully, now we've got this built, and also I'll I'll like polish this off camera. So this is well and truly done. Why is that light glitch? There, there we go. Go away, light light, light glitch. Okay. Um, so, as usual, thanks uh, a ton for watching, and I will see you all here again uh, next time.